But before I go there, I want to take this call. Um, 202, I have uh, Solomon from D.C. What's on your mind? Oh, I called before Debbie. Dang it. <laughs> yes, you called before Debbie. Oh, well. Well, uh, Rahm Emanuel is good enough, I guess. But <laughs> talking about Rahm Emanuel and how he still managed to get reelected, I was going to ask how much you think his connection to Obama and Clinton had to do with that, is despite the fact that it was so close. The fact that Obama literally called him his boy, mm-hmm. combined with low turnout, turnout means the black people who didn't go out to vote for him. Like, well, he's Obama's guy. Obama literally says, Rahm Emanuel is my boy. He's my guy. He's my mm-hmm. Chicago guy. Mm-hmm. And that's the Chicago politics. And so despite the fact that he closes schools and he's obviously colluding with the police, but with right. the black sites and the police brutality, right. he has the establishment on his side. He still has Hillary Clinton and Obama's support right now. So mm-hmm. he doesn't feel like he needs to move in any direction. He's to keep doing what he's doing, and he's a ple- he's literally a pledged superdelegate for Hillary Clinton. So there's no way she's ever going to turn on him to change that. So the only person who could even push him in any direction is Obama, and he shows no willingness to do you, it. You know what? President so, Obama yeah. has has every no reason possibly, but every incentive in the sense that he has nothing yeah. to lose. Right? President Obama is never going to run for office ever again. He doesn't need Rahm Emanuel for anything. Matter of fact, if I was President Obama, based on everything I've read about Rahm Emanuel and how Rahm Emanuel was the strength, was the stronghold, the stranglehold rather on the Obama administration, actually affecting real progressive change, and mm-hmm. President Obama finally realizing that. After they had uh, paid out trillions of dollars in the in the bailout, I would get some get back and tell Emmanuel to go sit the hell down somewhere. Obama really uh, one of the one of the, the the commissioners of Chicago said, Obama, you need to come get your boy. So anybody who says that Rahm Emanuel either either actively or passively, right? If you're silent on this issue, then you are not our ally. I don't care if you're President Obama or Debbie Wasserman Schultz or Hillary Clinton. If you say that you still support Rahm Emanuel after he has suppressed this video, after, you know, here, here's the thing, Solomon. Rahm Emanuel did enough before this video was suppressed for him never to be elected again in the United States. Yep. And that's yep. what pisses me the hell off the most is that we wait until there is something with a racial component. We wait until there is a police brutality and a cover up that that is the only thing that mobilizes us. We wait for that to get mobilized into action when shutting down 47 schools in predominantly black and impoverished communities should have been enough for them to never elect that man again in the United States. So and exactly waiting for a racial component, those schools closing would, was a racial would, component without doubt a racial component. <laughs> There were people. There were people. I think they're still doing hunger strikes to yes. try and get over school closures. Yes, and, and that should have destroyed him. The, mm-hmm. And Chuy Garcia was endorsed by Bernie. I mean, no one knew him back then, and Bernie campaigned for him. But the Young Turks was covering him very yeah. well, talking about the need for him to for him to be the new mayor and for him to try, try and. And that's the thing, the man. Chicago that's the thing. That's the thing that bothers me the most about this. You know what? We have to, like I said, we must stop being reactionary. We must start being proactive. Solomon, thanks for the call. Feel free to call back when I get on Debbie Washman. uh, There was one thing I wanted to say on that. Do you think Black Lives Matter, since they seem to be kind of quiet on the 2016 national election, when it comes to elections in Chicago, do you think they'll say something? Do they think they'll get get involved in trying to get (laughs) new administrations in Chicago and these other cities? You know what? I wish... Um, I, I can't speak. I can't speak on what I think that they're going to do because I actually have no idea what they're going to do. I think they're focusing like a, they have a they have a laser like focus on police reform because that is that is soft politics. And I'm not saying that in a condescending way, even though it probably is condescending, but whatever. Um, I'm saying that to say you don't really have to ruffle feathers with that in the terms in terms of that's something that every candidate is either going to get on board with or they won't get elected right everyone is that's where republicans are even there now right some police reforms and so they focused on this because it's a, it is a significant issue but also because it doesn't it means they don't have to focus on anything else and if they're not going to focus on economics if they're not going to focus on the plight of the 
poor and the impoverished and the middle class, the shrinking middle class, then, then they're really not going to fix their issues, but then they're also never going to ruffle the feathers politically. I said all that to say, I don't think they're going to do anything else than they're currently doing because it's important but also it's not going to make them have to decide between Hillary or Bernie. And that's ultimately what they're, they're trying to avoid. That's my two cents. Thanks for the call, Solomon. No problem.